Good afternoon. It's Rose Glyther for Thirsty Thursday. It's a beautiful Thursday here. I wish it could last forever, but we know it won't. But we will talk about some things that we can use on our skin to help it last a little bit longer. Today we're going to be talking about eye creams. Young Living currently has two eye creams. One you can purchase and one you can purchase if you go to the beauty school, if you attend a beauty school. And I'll talk a little bit about why that is in a minute. But first I want to talk about the one that you can purchase today. That is a Wolfberry eye cream. That is a wonderful, wonderful, it is a really good eye cream. It's very moisturizing. It's, um, it feels good when you put it on. Here it's right here. It's a little off. Whoop, I got some. Um, it's a little off color. Let's see if I can get it on my finger. You can see it a little bit better. Got a lot of it. You would never, ever, ever use this much at one time. You would use, let me say, not even this much at one time. Okay? So I'm going to have to put this someplace so I can use it later. Anyways, um, it's really good. It's a natural water-based moisturizer. So it's good for your skin. And the amazing thing is it has a lots of oils in it. It has lavender, coriander, Roman chamomile, frankincense, geranium, bergamot, and ylang ylang. I saved most of that. Good. Um, and it, it's, of course, it's got the wolfberry seed oil in it, and so that's why they call it the wolfberry eye cream. It goes for $49.50. It's in a half of an ounce container. Lasts a long time, because like I said, you just need a dot to put underneath each eye. It has 44 different ingredients in this product. It has a lot of the same ingredients that the Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream has, which is a very good moisturizing product, too. It has actually 21 of them. And a lot of the other ingredients that are in here, I've talked about in the past, because it, I see duplicates now, the same types of ingredients that Young Living is using. They find a good ingredient, they start using it to its fullest. So this has a lot of lubrication, a lot of moisturizers that I've talked about. It has a few things I've never talked about before. It has something called a hydrolyzed lupin protein. And this helps to renew the outer layers of your skin. And it reduces the depths of your wrinkles <clears throat> and stimulates collagen and elasticity. So that's a very good thing to have around your eye because our eyes all need help. It also has um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of seed oils. It has wolfberry, avocado, rosehip, almond, jojoba, mango seed butter. So it's a lot of seed butters. And these butters or oils are really, really good to help moisturize and trap that moisture and keep it on your skin. Also has shea butter which is very good. It's ideal for softening the skin. It does have one of the ingredients that I know they're going to, to be taking out of all of their products, but this one has not been done yet, and that is their retinal pomatate, which is 9 on the EWG scale, and the higher the number on the EWG scale, the worse the product. Okay, you really want to see a 1 or 2 or 3. And uh, this one happens to be a 5 on the EWG scale, the overall product. And that's basically because of the retinal palmitate and the essential oils. They also have hydrolyzed soy protein, wheat protein, and wheat starch. And these all help with your fine lines and wrinkles too. So when saying all that wheat and soy, obviously this has a lot of allergens in it. So if you are having problems with this, this is something that's not for you. <clears throat> it contains corn, gluten, soy, nut, and coconut and palm ingredients. 
But you would basically take a little dab and you put it underneath your eye and you just rub it in. They said to do it in the evening. Now, I used to do it all the way around my eye. They just said uh, mis gently massage into the soft skin under the eye. It didn't ever hurt me. But I stopped using it because of the gluten. So I haven't used it ever since I found the Beauty School Eye Serum. Like I said, you have to go to a beauty school, attend a beauty school in order to get it, and then you can only get one or two. Depends on how their, how, what their inventory is like. When I talked to Luba, she said that it's not going to last much longer. This eye serum, I'll show it to you. It's called the Beauty School Eye Serum. And it's the same amount, half of an ounce. Of course, the containers are completely different. This is in a pump. This one... This one is, this one you just take with your finger, take it out. This one is in a pump, so you just take a little bit out. It's very, I, I'll show you exactly how much I use every day. That much, can you see it? It's not a whole lot, and it does both eyes. Okay, so you, you don't need a lot of this stuff. So it does last you a while, even though if it's a half an ounce in the container. This, um... And this costs $10 if you go to beauty school. It's a prototype. It's going to be in our regular inventory. When I talk to Luba, she says this is going to go away from the beauty school. It's a prototype right now. That's why they can sell it for $10. But when it comes into our inventory, it will be a lot more. She didn't give me a price. She probably doesn't even know. But it will be a lot more. So by going to the beauty school and getting this, you're really getting a deal. I've been very fortunate in the last probably two years since I went to beauty school in Virginia Beach that I've been able to grab enough of this eye serum to continue to use. <clears throat> but I only have two left, so I know it's going to eventually dry up and go away and hopefully the, be in the inventory by that time. Anyway, this is kind of similar. Doesn't have as many ingredients as the Wolfberry eye cream. Has 23 ingredients. Has nine of the same ingredients as the Wolfberry eye cream. So it has like half the ingredients than the Wolfberry eye cream does. It doesn't seem as moisturizing like even on your fingertips. But it's still a very good eye serum. Has the same essential oils in it. Lavender, coriander, frankincense, Roman chamomile. Geranium, bergamot, ylang ylang, and um, that's it. My guess, I looked this up, it was not, it's a prototype, so it was not on the EWG scale, but looking at each individual ingredient, there were almost a one or a two. You know, I think there was one that was a three. Other than that, it's the essential oil. So my guess would be if this was on EWG, they would have rated it as a three, which is very good for a product that has a lot of ingredients. So this one has, like I said, a lot of the same ingredients. Some of the things that I that aren't in the Wolfberry eye cream are the, as the aloe, leaf juice, which helps to soothe and reduce the visible effects of of, of inflammation on the skin and also helps to reduce the red swollen and skin and it's good for your sensitive skin there's phytic acid in here which is good and it fights for aging and scarring and free radicals again and it's great also for sensitive skins so this one is not going to bother you i would not think and then it has a chlorella vulgaris extract which is a skin conditioner and a protecting agent that is believed to have powerful anti-aging benefits. So they've looked at stuff and they've probably, they're trying to, everybody has trouble around their eyes. I know I do. Everybody does. Uh, and if you don't, you're one of the fortunate people. But basically they tell you to take this and gently apply it morning and night. So this one, they, they say morning and night around the eye area. Whereas the wolfberry says to do a gently massage under your eye in the evening. So those are the two today. And uh, hopefully we'll, if you have not gone to the beauty school and not been able to even try or have the opportunity to try the beauty school serum, hopefully it will come into the new uh, inventory sometime as a new product. 
because it doesn't have gluten in it. I didn't find any allergens in it. So that is a good thing. Oh, I didn't even see coconut in here. No, I didn't. So, um, so it has less allergens than the wolfberry eye cream does. So it would be good for those people that have a problem with allergens. So that's it for today. And you guys have a great rest of your week. Check out all the other stuff that we have for you every day of the week. Don't forget today is the last day that you can grab a Young Living Convention ticket. And it's virtual this year. $49 today. $59 tomorrow. So if you don't think you're going to go, think about it twice. Because that is a great buy. Great buy to get that much information. You learn things new. You learn things old. You get to go to workshops of your choice. It's really, and you get to watch this stuff later. So it's really a great way to educate yourself with Young Living and what's up and what's new and what's happening. So check out the Time For You page. The link is there and you can go ahead and sign up and sign up today. If not, $59 isn't bad either, but $49 is even better. Bye.